Okay, hello friends. Welcome to reading for today. We are going to continue talking about our book for this week, which is Let's Dance Around the World. Okay, so our text, Let's Dance Around the World, is an informational text which gives us facts and examples about a topic, right? Authors of informational texts may organize their ideas by central ideas supported by key details, okay? Also, informational texts include text features such as bold print, captions, keywords, and italics. That's exactly what we are going to talk about today, okay? So let's take a peek at our text features and graphic features anchor chart, okay? A friendly reminder that text features are kinds of type that show emphasis or indicate a title. We might see things such as bold face, italic, which is our slanted. Bold face is like a little thicker text. Italic is like the slanted text and then capital letters, right? We also will see headings, which name the topic of each section of the text and subheadings, which are just a little bit smaller than regular headings that break down that topic within the heading into subtopics, okay? We also can see graphic features in informational text, which are visuals like diagrams, graphs, maps, charts, or illustrations that help explain the ideas that are being stated within the text. Okay, so diagrams are pictures that have labels. Okay, so here we see a diagram of an eye and there is a label on the pupil and then the iris, right? Here's an example of a chart that organizes information, okay? So we have a big majority, like half the class that chose maybe apples as their favorite snack. Then like, um, I'd say what, one third of the class chose pretzels and then a fourth of the class or a little bit less than a fourth chose carrots, okay? So let's take a peek now at our book, okay? Let's dance around the world. And we are going to, um, we are going to flip to hang tight one sec let me check it out we are going to flip to paragraph five okay so i'm going to flip flip okay so paragraph five i'm going to read aloud to y'all so this is the paragraph that you are going to use when it comes time for you to do your reading activity and that is an awful color that i chose so i'm going to choose blue instead okay so here we have a um, graphic feature, right? It's a picture of someone with the label break dancing, okay? So speaking of hip hop, if you were to ask five people to tell you what hip hop is, you'd probably get five different answers. Hip hop is a way of life that includes the dance style known as breaking or break dancing. In the 1970s, when rap music was new, hip hop and breaking were just getting started. Breakdancing is usually performed in public places like city sidewalks, and it is highly athletic and involves fast jumps, drops, spins, and robotic freezes. Breakdancers can even be seen spinning on their heads. Okay, so let's think about what we just read together, okay, and kind of just digest it and think about how the photograph connects to the text, okay? So I'm gonna scroll up a little bit. Think about this photograph right here of breakdancing and how it connects to the text. That is what you are going to answer on number one of your reading activity for today, okay? Tell me, how does the photograph connect to the text? You're gonna use this. The photograph connects to the text, text by showing us, you're gonna tell me, what does the photograph show you with respect to what we just read? Okay, if you need to reread it, reread it. That's totally cool. Now, I also wanna ask you, okay, how the photograph adds to your understanding of the ideas in the text. So I want you to look at number two with me, okay? It says, how does the photograph add to your understandings of the ideas in the text. The photograph adds 
to my understanding. Oh my gosh, I cannot spell of the ideas in the text by maybe there's something in the photo. Okay, that kind of made you better understand what they were talking about. Right? If you've never heard of breakdancing or you've never, ever, ever seen it, right? You would have absolutely no idea what that looks like. And now we can check this photo out and have a better idea. So tell me in your reading activity how it better helps you understand break dancing or breaking. Okay. Now we're going to reread page five or sorry, 353, and let's dance around the world. Okay. And we're going to answer questions three and four. Okay. So I'm going to reread this entire page right here. Okay. And we already actually have read this page and did a little monitor and clarify on this. Okay. So what I want you to do is look over this with me. I'm going to delete this little note over here because that's from yesterday. Okay. So paragraphs eight, nine, and 10. Jeez. Okay. So we're going to read all of this. And then we are going to read all of this as well. Okay. I think I'm going to change this to red because that green is just not looking good lately. Okay. So in Japan, folk dances are often performed at cultural festivals. Japanese folk dancers are known for their slow, graceful movements, dancing with bent knees and bodies low to the ground. They use objects such as umbrellas, swords, and fans to highlight their delicate movements. Traditionally a man's dance, the English Morris dance today is performed by both men and women. Dancers hit sticks together and wave handkerchiefs while they hold their bodies straight upright. Bells worn around the dancer's legs jingle, adding to the rhythm. In Mexico, there are many popular folk dances. The dance called Los Viejitos which means the little old men is meant to help people stay young and active as they get older. Dancers wear masks and hold canes to make themselves look like an old man. They start off slowly, then speed up dancing with lots of energy. So let's now think, okay, about the text and graphic features that are shown on this page. Well, if we look here on this page, right? Let's look at the text features, right? We have a text feature right here, okay? Highlight, okay? And I'm gonna just delete this really quick so that we can see. Highlight is highlighted, right? This is a text feature. It shows us that it is an important vocabulary word. So there is one text feature. Another text feature that we see is the label right here, Japanese folk dance. One more text feature, actually two more. One more text feature that we see right here is Los Vijitos, right? Which is a label showing the Los Vijitos. Viejitos, sorry, Viejitos. Um, this is the dance that's happening right here. And then we have another text feature down here, okay? That um, actually gives us the definition or meaning of the word highlight. Okay, so there's plenty of text features here. You can choose two or three, or you can do all of them. It's totally up to you. Tell me about the text and graphic features that are shown on this page. Now it says, what new information do you learn from the photos that is not in the text? Okay, well, if we look here, right? They didn't say anything, right? About the hats that they wear with like the little, um, the little strings, well, they're not strings. I just can't think of the exact word. Streamers, with the little streamers or ribbons running down. So we learned about that, right? We also didn't le learn that the um, Japanese folk dances that the women painted their face white and that they wore dresses. Y'all think about that, okay? Choose one or two things, okay? that you learned from the photo that is not included within what you have read in the text, okay? Then you are going to submit this reading activity to me, okay? So, or let's just back it up a little bit. 
I want you to reread this, have this open as you are completing your assignment, okay? So Ms. Harris should see y'all all, y'all, all, all of y'all reading this book. It doesn't matter if you read it yesterday, the day before, anything like that. Y'all are all going to be reading this, okay? Also, when you're finished with it, you're going to complete the reading activity, okay? Then when you are finished with the reading activity, you need to do 20 minutes of, I, or of MBRC. I apologize. After you're finished with your 20 minutes of MBRC, please set a timer so that you do your 20 minutes, okay? It doesn't matter if you think that you are done for the week, everyone needs to do their 20 minutes, okay? Then when you are finished with that, I need you to go on to uh, Clever and go into Epic or Myon and read independently. Okay, until it is time for writing at 1025. I will see you guys at that time, which is 1025. Okay, check. I'll check y'all later. Bye.